Coast Air for Kids granted Harbor House $1 million to help benefit local children. As WLKY Shaquille Lord explains, the money will allow Harbor House to renovate its building to fit the needs of children with special needs. The announcement was met with applause and cheers Wednesday morning as Coast Air for Kids granted $1 million to Harbor House to benefit children living with disabilities. Today, Coast Air for Kids is delighted to announce that we are making a $1 million gift to ensure that the children of South Louisville and the Shively community can get the services they need moving into the future. Coast Air for Kids is a nonprofit that lends financial support for initiatives such as health care, social services, and child advocacy. President Barry Dunn says 75% of the adults at Harbor House are former Coast Air kids. So while we may not have formally partnered in the past, the kids that we've served for years and years have, have come here at Harbor House to seek respite and to seek care for whatever they may need. Harbor House plans to move operations from its current building on Lower Hunter's Trace to the building next door, the Intergenerational Life Center. Doors are expected to officially open in October. Mary Smith says the grant money will be used to renovate the current building into the Child Enrichment Center. Without this, we don't know where we'd go, what would happen, and what would, how we'd get there. So this is going to be, this is the, the, the check that's going to make it all possible. But when it's complete, this state-of-the-art center won't just be for adults. The children over at the Child Enrichment Center will be able to come back and forth for different activities. Dunn says he knows this center will give needed support to local families. And this truly is going to be a blessing to the Shively community. It's going to allow parents who otherwise may have to drive 30, 45 minutes to find care for their children to stay right here. Shaquille Lord, WLKY News. Now, Harbor House officials say that they want the Child Enrichment Center to be up and running by next fall.